Hello YouTube, today we're doing the, the, the Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, or the Rackin. Oh, no, inspired by the Rekin and Urko one, so it's just basically down the road from us. Yep, in the Midlands. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, it's, it's a rip-off version. Of Toberon. Toberon. Yes, he was out last year, but you know, this is a new design. Because they got done by Toberon, um, so like the original Toberon. Now they've rechanged it. We've got like, plain chocolate or dark chocolate. Yeah, bring it back a bit. You can barely see it. Yeah. And you milk. Can see where it's fine where it is. And the hair also. You know what it's me? The original Willy Wonka, when he goes into the um, sweet shop and he asks for a chocolate bar and he gets that big long chocolate bar. Yeah. Looks a bit creaky, like half of the people from around here. Oh, this one. We've got a what? The white one, not the whole thing. Wiped it. He knocked it out. That reminds me of what? What lion bar? I just had some cheap white chocolate. Can I? Super Can white I? Um, I was very lucky to get the white one because every white one in that shop was smashed. So I'm gonna smash it anyway now. Yeah, but yeah. Doesn't make much of a difference, does it? Yeah, that was literally crumbs. Me and Brett the plate then, but you know. Oh well. It only came from a bit of You try the dark, I'll try the white. If I can. I'll get my teeth into it. Tastes like you want it. from the ranking. You do it. I flipped up, I flipped all the skin off my gums. <coughs> These taste like cute clover on. The white one's quite creamy. And get to the... It's not a shaky footage. We lost our doohickey for the tripod, so I've got to hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd let you know. Bit tough. <sighs> bit disappointing, really, isn't it? You thought I mean, it's you up here and you bite it. That's a pig, though, you know. I can't even taste the white chocolate. I can't yeah. taste much almond, can you? It has almonds in it. Mm, the black one is. 0.1% probably. <laughs> Do you drink? Um, Do you drink it? Yes. So awkward to drink and eat at the same time. Don't forget, plain shot do sell. Toberone. Ugh. It's a more white one. I don't know if there's more chocolate than Toberone than these ones. Easier to buy a Toberone one, innit? You know Toberone's the brand and it's easier. Again, the, the white one's quite... Um, everywhere else in the world, in the UK, who's going to buy this? Doesn't know what it basically is. Yeah. With any, with anyone living in the West Midlands or Black Country would know what it's inspired by. No one else will. Twin Pigs. It's not the name Twin Pigs, it's uh, expired, inspired by the Reekin and the... Yeah. What you call it? That's the only thing people won't understand. Mm. It's a nice exciting thing, it's a really pretty disappointing. Well, don't forget it's Penny Shop Chocolate. Chocolate's not bad, there's no taste of chocolate there, though, I don't think. It's disappointing, I mean. All the hype over it for last year. And it's just well, don't forget, bad. last year it was Triangles. Don't forget they got sued. And anyone who lives in this country, in this area, that looks nothing like the Reekin. That looks like a lump of... Um, I can't explain what it looks like. It looks like a grill or something. Or a, a paper, br a cardboard brush, a brush head or something like that it looks like. I can't explain what it looks like. Well, we're literally going around the Reekin talking about this chocolate. It's all, it always is hard to burn. No matter where you get it from. It, well, all one slice, you're supposed to eat it in one piece, not the whole block. I it's like that person I watch what does the um, eating challenges when they had a, pe a 70 pound um, Toberone and they're big solid pieces of chocolate 
I wouldn't want to eat one of these. That's nearly um, a giant one. Fruit with these fans, dude. It's not stained for chocolate, is it? Mm. We've got a bit of tin foil, get stuck in your teeth, and it gives you an electric shock. <laughs> in your belly, and it gives you a shock. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in it. It's just a lump of boring old almond chocolate better than that. Wow. Was it made by? Is it made by a Pacific company? Just cheap. Pan and look. It'd be easy if I could have my, my right hand wasn't stuck on the old English. I mean, camera. at least the white one's a bit more inspiring. At least it's not the same logo. What, the, the white one's a bit more taste to it. The bland chocolate, the, dark group, the normal chocolate, has no taste to it. That's just me, but. At least the white one looks better. Oh, look ingredients. I want to see I mean, look at this one. It's so well, what it is. It's, it's, it's made. pound shot green or blue. By TP. Well in all. Of course, it's got to be from the black country. So it is. Most of Birmingham. Most of pound shops are from Birmingham, is, yeah. Birmingham anyway. It's from China, but it comes from Birmingham warehouse. Yeah. Um, Birmingham company, innit? Margaret's son-in-law used to... I don't know what you're telling me. Have a They're factory. not even know how it is. Well, now it's the same. That's a good year after the cap cut. Why must still eat it? Oh, it's chocolate, it's for... Not the chocolate's not nice. It's nothing really, it's nice. Toblerone isn't the best thing in it, it, is it really? It's supposed to be Swiss. It just tastes like distus. You could put a Swiss logo on it, so sell it as Swiss chocolate, you wouldn't have it. <laughs> mm. is because it's the triangles, it's unique. Mm. You could make that into a triangle and label it Toblerone. You wouldn't, know, you wouldn't know the difference, I would think, would you? Yeah, would you? If I labelled that as a Toblerone. A new design. So, a new design, you wouldn't know the difference. The chocolate tastes Watch the same. Or so next year, the Toblerone's going to do that to you. And then the pound shop can serve Obviously, Toblerone. it probably has a different quality. Oh, yeah. Almonds in it, that's all it will be. Like, cheap M&M's that use cheaper, crappier nuts, don't they? Mm -hmm. M &M, not M&M's, a cheap M&M's. Yeah, that's right, probably sure they've got shells on them still. Well, the skins. <sighs> Some of them, they have peanuts in them. I read one with nothing in it. I did one. But <laughs> yeah. Wasn't even had a bit into it the crumpled apart. <laughs> How did they seal it? And then make it right over the There's nothing to start the bar the um... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Must have fell out after it was made. <laughs> uh, well, saying about it's it then. all right, but as I said, for a quid. For, for a kids. quid you can buy an normal Toblerone. You can't. You, you can't. Can. That's the thing. That is actually the selling. Point. And you get the vetting. You get a bit more. I think. Well, that's the truth. The selling point is literally. I can understand if they weren't selling Toblerone in the pound shop, but they do. Yeah. So really, what, what's their market? Right. White one. They don't literally do white one for pound. Didn't yeah, Toblerone don't do a white one? Do they, they do. Do they? They do. Yep. I haven't seen one. They're quite dear, actually, dearer to buy. Have you cut this short because my hands are hurting now? Yeah. <laughs> Have to see you soon. Bye. Bye.